progressive lens marking. The patient visited the clinic for frame selection. On seeing the prescription and the needs of the patient, the option of progressive lenses was selected. For selecting the frame for a prescribed patient, the frame must have sufficient vertical depth that is P size and enough lower nasal area. The short vertex distance and the pantoscopic tilt of 10 to 12 degrees should also be taken into consideration. After selecting the proper frame, frame adjustments are done. This is done with the help of flat surface touch test, in which the examiner keeps the frame on the flat surface and checks whether the tips of the temple and the frame front touches the flat surface. Then the interpupillary distance is measured with the help of pupillometer. The distance selected is at infinity. The two knobs are used to coincide the vertical lines present in the pupillometer with the corneal reflex. This gives the IPD measurements binocularly and monocularly. Then the dispenser asks the patient to wear the frame and adjust the frame according to the patient. It is important to consider the head movement of the patient. Then with the help of the marker and torch, the dispenser marks the corneal reflexes on the lenses for both the eyes. During the procedure, the patient is asked to look at the examiner's open eye to maintain the parallax. Then the horizontal lines are drawn at the pupillary reflex points on the frame. This is done for both right and left lenses. It will help in the centration of the lens and the progressive lens marking. Then place the frame on the manufacturer's centration chart and move it to the left or right until the bridge is centered on the converging central alignment pattern. Then move the frame up or down until the marked horizontal pupil center, center lines are on the chart horizontal axis. Mark the previously measured PD for each eye as a vertical line that crosses the horizontal one. For the first lens, read the fitting cross heights from the charts. Then place the frame on the lens blank circles of the centration chart so that the cross on the glazed lens overlaps the fitting cross. Mark the markings present on the layout chart of the lens and send the frame to the laboratory with the mark still on the lenses. For verification of progressive lens marking, the examiner marks the optical cross with a red marker and asks the patient whether he or she is able to see the image reddish or pinkish on occlusion of one eye. 